Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. This is the initial screen view when you open a new presentation in PowerPoint 2010. A presentation is the default object in PowerPoint. Within the presentation, you create and modify individual slides that will constitute the presentation. The slides within a presentation contain multiple text and graphic objects which create the contents displayed in the individual presentation slides. When you close a presentation, PowerPoint will prompt you to save unsaved changes in any open presentations that you are working on before closing. In the following lessons within this chapter, we will examine and discuss the elements of the PowerPoint environment. For users who are new to the PowerPoint program, you should first familiarize yourself with the various tools and elements within the program's environment before attempting to create your presentation. The presentation slides appear within the application frame. The application frame consists of the title bar, the ribbon, the status bar, and the presentation slides. The first object that we will point out is the ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands that are available for use within the program. For users upgrading from a version of PowerPoint prior to 2007, you will find that the ribbon both replaces and combines the older menu bar and the various toolbars like the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar that you have been using. For users upgrading from PowerPoint 2007, you will find that the Microsoft Office button has now been replaced by the new File tab within the ribbon. Clicking this tab allows you access to the backstage view shared by Microsoft Office 2010 products. In the backstage view, you will find the most common file management commands such as creating a new presentation, saving presentations, and printing. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You will notice several important buttons are already set here. Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that you have added to this toolbar as well. Of course, at the top of the window, you will see the name of the current presentation that you have open. This will appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all of the tools, the current presentation is displayed. This is where you create the actual slides in the presentation. Most of the actual work in PowerPoint will be done in this area. At the right side of the presentation, you will see a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your presentation if your presentation is wide or if you zoom in on the current slide. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your slides. You can use the horizontal scroll bar, if shown, to scroll left and right across the presentation slides. Speaking of zooming the presentation, you can easily zoom in to increase the magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various presentation view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your presentation as needed. So now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the PowerPoint application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.